Right, we are live, and of course this is not Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-earth. This is a very, very quick... There you go, got rid of that. Uh, this is an impromptu live stream. I wasn't planning to do this. I've been streaming Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-earth this afternoon, and that stream finished early, and while I was streaming, this arrived. So I figured, let's do an unboxing of this. So this is... Uh, oh, this is Tainted Grail Wave 2. Now, I know a lot of people have got Wave 2 already. Uh, thank you, James, for letting me know about the audio. Uh, but this, I believe, is the Sundrop version, which came out later. So, uh, if you are in the chat and you have got the Sundrop version of Wave 2, then let me know. Uh, I know all of the non-Sundrop ones went out before Christmas. But yeah, I think the Sundrop ones are going out now. And this, this arrived... This arrived today. So again, this is wave two of Tainted Grail. This is not the base game. This is all of the extra stuff after the base game. So I'm going to take it all out of the box first, and then, then we're going to go through it. We're going to be here for a little bit today, um, because we've got a few boxes to unpack. This is also nice and cold, <laughs> uh, and a little bit of condensation. Yeah, that's actually a bit of condensation on it. Now, thankfully, this is all sealed. So, oh, and each one of these is very heavy. I think the whole box is eight kilograms. Uh, oh, I didn't know there was a play mat going to be in it. Oh, now that's going to change things. Because we did say a couple of times when we were playing, it would be nice to have a play mat. So, right, brilliant. Thank you very much to Awaken Realms for this. There you go. Right, okay, so this is going to go away. There you go. And what we're going to open up first. Let's open up uh, the, the, the big one, the, the heavy one. So, Tainted Grail, uh, the copy of Tainted Grail that I currently have is just the first campaign. Uh, this is the other two campaigns. So we have Age of Legends and Last Night. The current, uh, the, the original, the base game campaign is um, Fall of Avalon. Is it Fall of Avalon? I think. Anyway, I've played that to completion. Uh, if you want to know my thoughts on it, uh, I would recommend checking out my top 10 video uh, that I did earlier this month, which is the top 10 games of 2019, because um, Tainted Grail was mentioned on that video. Uh, me and Vicky have played through uh, the, the main campaign through to completion uh, and this is now the other two campaigns. So if you don't know anything about the game, Tainted Grail is a uh, cooperative, narrative-driven game. It is very, very much uh, about the setting and the narrative. There's lots of text and everything else. And there are three campaigns... Um, and you do, they're, they're completely separate campaigns. So the characters that you play in one campaign do not carry over to the other campaigns. They are three completely separate campaigns set at different times. It is based on a mythical world, which is kind of a cross between fantasy and very much Arthurian legend and stuff like that. Okay. Age of Legend, I believe, is set 800 years before the main campaign, the first campaign. And this one is set afterwards. So yeah, they are very much... Yeah, uh, yeah, very much uh, about the theme and the narrative of the game. Okay, so you have this. Uh, this is cold. So this is your party save sheet. Uh, now, we, we didn't use these in the end. What we used is we used a Google Doc um, because we needed to track so many additional things and we were saving the game all of the time. You can use these, but we just used a Google Doc. What we did use is we did use the status sheet. So these are the statuses for uh, these campaigns. And these are basically uh, things that you need to track, permanent things that you would track in the game. And then at various times in the narrative, you are told, do you have Pillars Part 3? And you look on this and you go, do I have Pillars Part 3? No. If no, turn to such and such a page. So yeah, this is very much about tracking what's going on in the world. Um, so each of the campaigns comes with... Oh, the chat is multiplying again. Oh, interesting. 
we had that yesterday, didn't we? But it didn't do that at all during the Lord of the Rings. So apologies for that. The, the chat is doing weird stuff. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, characters. Uh, yeah, so there is um, there is four different characters, not counting Neve. We'll come back to Neve in a minute. Uh, there are four different characters that you can play in each of the campaigns. And then there is Neve. Neve is a special character. Neve was a fifth character, and you can play Neve in any of the campaigns. And what you get at the start of the campaign is you get a, you get like a letter sent to you with a bit of a thematic flavor introduction that sets the scene. Okay, there's an echo in the chat. Yes. <laughs> Again, there's nothing I can do about that. It is the built-in chat plugin from Streamlabs. Um, it's mostly fine, um, but it was doing it. Uh, it was going weird yesterday, uh, but it didn't go weird early today. I've literally just done a two-hour stream of another game, and it it it, it was fine. It didn't um, didn't have any problems. Anyway, these are the characters. So let's open this up. You can see how good the punching is. All of the stuff is already falling out. So, yeah, there you go. You don't really even need to punch it. You just wobble it and... Shouldn't have shown that over there. I've got some figures on the floor. So, yeah, these are the, these are the characters. Now, these characters actually slot into a character tray. Uh, the character tray doesn't come with this box because this is an expansion. You need the base game to play this. Um, so yeah, the base game comes with character trays that these these slot inside. But you will choose a character, and that will be your character throughout the campaign. And the reason why there's this many is that as a there's two different campaigns in this box. So let's have a look at what we've got now. I'm going to try and avoid spoilers here because you don't really want any of the story spoiled. Uh, will I be playing it solo and streaming it? No, I won't be playing it solo. I will be playing this with Vicky, which means it won't be streamed. Uh, also, what John says, yeah, there's too many spoilers to stream. Unlike, for example, the game that I've just streamed this afternoon, Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-earth. Yeah, sure, that's a campaign system. And yeah, sure, it's got narrative elements. And sure, you might spoil the story. In this, the narrative and the story is such a big part of the game. You don't want to watch any playthroughs of this without, without getting spoilers. Now... That's not to say that I wouldn't like to do a stream of this, but it would have to have big caveats on to say, full spoilers, you are going to spoil your game by watching this stream. But I would definitely like to do a stream of this if Awaken Realms ever wanted me to. But because I'm only playing it with Vicky um, and Vicky doesn't want to be on a stream. Yeah, so I'm not going to be no plans to stream it at the moment. Right. So what do you get? Well, first of all, we have some figures. So let's have a look at these figures and I might need to turn the lighting up a bit because it does look a bit dark. Oh, zoom in, Paul. That's the way. Is it all right? Is the lighting OK? I think the lighting's OK. OK, so. Uh, yeah, so these are the sun dropped miniatures. So you get the pack mule, which is quite nice. And the sun drop is amazing. I mean, the, these miniatures are either the best miniatures I've ever seen in a game or some of the best miniatures that I've ever seen in a game. I'm just going to up the brightness a little bit. The right hand chart has gone mad again. Do you mean the left hand chart? Because <laughs> it is repeating everything you're saying, John, more than once. There you go. Just turn the brightness up on the camera a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think it's the left hand chart. That's, it's, it's my stream plugin. The right hand chart, which is the actual YouTube chart, that looks fine. But it's the chat on screen, which seems to be just repeating itself. Um, I mean, I can go in and I can, yeah, it's just constantly repeating what John's saying. <laughs> right, bear with us a minute. Uh, I mean, I'll just disable the chat box and I can. Uh, what can I do with it? Uh, very little. There's, there's very little I can do with it. There's filters on it um, and stuff like that. But if I turn it on. Yeah, not sure. Not sure what I can do with it. Um, now, yesterday, what did I do to fix it yesterday? I mean, yeah, there's, there's very little I can do to fix it because it's not, it's not my problem, <laughs> as it were. It's something going very, very weird with the chat system. I think I put it on clean and see what that does. Anyway, these are the Sundrop miniatures. So, yeah, really, really good quality miniatures. And the Sundrop looks amazing. So if you are not a figure painter, 
um, then the sun drop really does help. Now, I am a figure painter, but yeah, it's the time taken to paint these. So yeah, the quality of these is just really good. Yeah, and it's a very, it's a very hard plastic, not like that soft plastic you get some, and you can see the, the level of detail on these is, is incredible. Yeah, anyway, right, so there's that. And the chat is now popping up. So there's the miniatures. Uh, so that's the miniatures, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one for each of the characters and the pack donkey. Is the chat still repeating? I think the chat is still repeating on the left hand side. That's really weird how it's how it's been fine all afternoon and then it's um and then it's just gone now. With Jill saying it's fine. Uh are you right in saying that the colour of the sun drop is not good for ISS Vanguard? I'm not sure. But you're absolutely right. The colour of the sun drop on these is a nice brown colour, which kind of fits the theme. I don't know about ISS Vanguard. I do not know. More figures for Paul to paint. Well, the thing is, these Sundrop ones, I'm not sure. So what I did with my copy of this game is I gave these Sundrop miniatures to Rick. Rick's got the non-Sundrop version. He gave his miniatures to me and I painted those figures because I really don't want to paint over a Sundropped miniature. Um, yeah, because it, 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 it looks good. Right. Since that didn't fix the chat, I'm going to put the chat back to the default uh, setting of boxed, which looks a, no a lot nicer. But yeah, I don't know what that problem is with the chat. Um, right, the game has lots and lots of cards in the game, and you will want to shuffle, uh, you will want to sleeve some of them. Uh, you don't need to sleeve all of them, because there are certain cards that um, do not get shuffled. Um, like special events, you will be told when to take a special event. Um, various things like that. The chapter setup cards, you don't need to sleeve them. But your character cards, uh, you're going to be, you're, you're going to be, um, you're going to be shuffling them a lot. So if I just, oh, Nemesis was a different sun drop. Right, okay, so it's different per game. Um, okay, so they were going to do the brown for ISS Vanguard until they got backlash. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think the brown would have gone well with ISS Vanguard. Personally. Right, okay, so yeah, these are uh, the character cards for this particular character. Uh, and there's an icon there that tells you which campaign this is from. Um, and yeah, these are your um, combat cards that you're going to be using in your deck. And you will want to, you'll want to sleeve these because you shuffle your combat deck at the start of every encounter. Uh, so these are all new. Um, there's going to be some similar effects to some of the characters from the previous one. Um, but yeah, artwork for me, uh, I, I think the artwork is fantastic. I think the artwork is very uh, evocative of the theme. Um, and yeah, really like it. So yeah, lots and lots of cards in the game. There we go. What else do we have? We have more cards. We have some encounters. I think the encounters are completely new for this. I don't think you use the same encounters. I think you use different encounters. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You also have the big cards. Now again, I'm not going to I'm not going to reveal too many of these because there's definitely going to be some spoilers in here. So we've got a reference card. Here we go. Right, so the way that this game works is you will have a map and it will be built up of cards. So I'm actually just going to show you this one, okay? A little bit of a spoiler, um, but I'm going to show you this card. So you can see here, this is the location number and this is a location off to that side. And the map will be built up by putting these cards. You will be building up a map as you, uh, as you explore the game. Uh, and then another pack for the other the other campaign. Um, yes, no plans to me for me to do any playthrough videos. Um, as I say, a couple of reasons why I mentioned it uh, earlier on in the stream. So if you rewind a bit, I talked about it then. But yeah, more cards. So that is it. Right, now the big part. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to look too closely at them because they're spoilers. Um, but the big part of the game are, is 
the exploration journals. So we have two exploration journals, one for each of the campaigns. I think last night is the last one. So I think Age of Legends is the one that we're going to play next. Is it Age of Legends? Yeah. So this is the one which I think is set 800 years before the first one. I think the chat is still repeating. Yeah, the chat is still. If anybody wants to Google that, it's the uh, uh, the chat bot plugin for Streamlabs is repeating. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, there you go. We've got a components list. That's not a spoiler. Okay, so this is the story behind this one. And it is four years since humans have first made landfall on the shores of this strange land. So yeah, this is set, I think, 800 years before the stuff from the first campaign. And then after that, it's spoilers. Oh no, we have rules. Important things in your game, special rules, everything else. Extra rules, how to set up the world. It tells you exactly what... Um, Encounters you're going to need, tells you how to save the game, and then that's it. Okay, so what follows this book, all of this, is all narrative, and there's a huge amount of it, and that, that is the story. So you have one campaign, one exploration journal for each campaign. Uh, to give you an idea, it took us about, I think it was about 50, 60 hours, something like that, to play through the first campaign. So yeah, we're going to be playing this for quite a while. Anyway, that is the core content of the two campaigns. So, that can go over here. I'm now going to have a look at the play map because I didn't know this was included in the box. But it is. So yeah, one of the things that you're going to be doing in the game is you're going to be exploring those large those large cards. Oh, this is nice. Right, so this is neoprene on neoprene. <laughs> right, so here we go. This is going to be nice on the table. This is where you will put the cards um, so you can explore around. And yeah, you've got spaces to put the encounter cards, spaces to put other cards. Yeah, so this is going to be quite nice. You will put the cards on here. Okay, I can't really do that because of spoilers. Uh, and the cards are two-sided as well. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Now, unfortunately, this has been rolled up. So it's kind of a bit wrinkled at the edge. I might need to roll it back on itself to try and flatten it out. But yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be good. Because we, play, we don't play up here on this table. We actually play downstairs. Uh, so having the cards on the dining room table, it's much nicer on the neoprene mat. Okay, so there you go. The next thing I'm going to open is Red Death. So this was uh, this was a stretch goal expansion that they included. Uh, this is a standalone, shorter campaign, as it says on the back. Seven chapters, two to three hours each, it reckons. Um, and this can be played... I believe with any, you can play this in any of the three settings. So you can play this with characters from any of the three previous settings, including characters that you've already used in a campaign. I think I might be wrong on that, but yeah, this is a, this is an extra, so a fourth campaign that goes alongside other things. And yes, depending on whether you play it in the Fall of Avalon campaign, in the Last Night campaign, or the Age of Legends campaign, you will get a different intro letter. Sean is saying two to three hours to set up each chapter, much less to play. <laughs> yeah, it does take a while to set up. Um, so I don't know much about this, but we do have, we do have some very cool minis. Yeah, so the, these, are, these are pretty big miniatures that's that's gorgeous that is really good yeah the sculptors they've got for these figures are really good so anyway if you don't know what the red death is 
you need to play a Fall of Avalon campaign and that will tell you what it is. So we have, yeah, we have some cards. We have a whole bunch of extra special encounters. Uh, again, no characters in here because you use characters from one of the other ones. And an exploration journal that is about half the size of the others. I've put that in wrong, haven't I? Uh, message in the chat to say, where did I get the mat underneath this? This is the Scythe-inspired mat from Game Toppers. Right, so that's Red Death. And finally, we have a couple of extra bits that was included. Um, we have a Tainted Grail album. So it's basically uh, an artwork book. Um, so if you like the artwork of the game, it's nice that they've done a, an extra little book. And I've got one of these for, yeah. Okay, there might be spoilers here if that's a map. Yeah, I think so that, that was sort of a map. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically it's a book of some of the artwork included in the game. And I don't want to show too much. So there may be spoilers, but having now played through it, that's actually really good. Yeah, lots of artwork. And then Echoes of the Past. I don't really know what this is. Okay, so Echoes of the Past expands all three Tainted Grail campaigns by adding personal stories and unique... Ah, yes. So, unfortunately, we've played the Fall of Avalon campaign and our characters in that are now done. But if you haven't started playing yet, you can play with this. And what this does, it, it actually, this expands on any of the previous campaigns. So if you haven't started playing yet and you do have this, use this. Um, because what, what this does is it gives each of the characters a personal story. Okay? Uh, so for example, this is Bior. This is the character that, that Vicky played uh, when she played it. Um, and yeah, there's basically extra stuff. And once you've done those three things, so once you have won a purple encounter with difficulty three or higher in the first activation, you go to Bior's Memory 1, okay? And there is a, there's an extra book, Book of Memories. So there is a whole load of, per I mean, look at all this narrative, right? This is huge amount of narrative. So what you will do is your character goes on their own personal journey. Uh, and once you've done certain things, once you've visited location 116, you go to Bior's Memory 3. And it evolves your character even more. Um, so the narrative in the game is fantastic. But what this does is it, it really attaches your character to the storyline with personal stuff to do. And once you've done those three things, it unlocks this. Uh, and then you can do something else and you get some extra cards which basically give your character some extra special abilities so yeah the next time we play we're going to use this okay we are we are going to use this the next time we play and as i say we're going to do age of legends next we haven't decided which characters we're going to play or when we're going to start it because we want to finish gloomhaven jaws of the lion first and we're not really getting very far with that but there you go. That is everything. Um, yeah, as I say, if you want to know my opinion on Tainted Grail, go and check out my top 10 games of 2019 video, which I released uh, earlier this month. Um, but yeah, if you if you are watching this and you've got Tainted Grail, then obviously that, that's one thing. If you haven't got Tainted Grail and you're watching this, there's obviously mixed reviews for it. But if you want to know my opinion on it, as I say, I talk about it in my top 10 video. I'm very, look, very much looking forward to playing the other ones, uh, if given the time. But yeah, it's going to take... Yeah, we might even get one of the campaigns done by the end of this year. I think that's probably a realistic goal based on how many other games we've got to play. And then probably we'll do The Last Night next year. So this is a game which will have taken us, uh, you know, three years uh, to play just because, you know, we, we don't have time to play regularly. Um, but anyway, this was just an unboxing video. Apologies for the, f the problems with the chat. I have no idea why it's doing that. I will try and get some help on that. Although getting help on a free piece of software is always quite difficult. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. No more streams today, but I will be back tomorrow. If you are interested, uh, here's my plans for the rest of the week. So 
I did Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-earth this afternoon. This unboxing video was an impromptu one. This wasn't planned. Um, tomorrow I've got my live Q&A at five o'clock. So if you want to join in, five o'clock GMT, which is about this time tomorrow. Uh, yeah, join in. It's a live Q&A. You can ask me whatever you want and I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. Uh, Wednesday night, so tomorrow night, I'm doing a live solo playthrough of Bonfire, the Stefan Feld game. On Thursday, I'm playing Drake Hollow in the morning. I'm doing Maracaibo campaign Thursday and Friday afternoon and Too Many Bones on Friday night. So there you go. That is what I've got planned for the rest of the week. Uh, thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. Um, this is obviously not a sponsored video. Um, if you like the content that I make and you're in a position to be able to support the channel, then please check out the Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. That's it. We're all done. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. I'll see you soon. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.